Hey, Nick here. Uh, today, in this video, we're going to do the upper ball joints on this uh, 62 Landau. And uh, here are the upper ball joints, okay? Where's the best place to get those ball joints? Well, we got these from Rare Parts. Rare Parts has a very high quality uh, product. These look pretty thick, yeah. Uh, rear parts is a, a good place for suspension parts. I've been dealing with them for quite some time, um, and I like rear parts. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace these. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of other things, too. We're going to replace the carburetor and uh, adjust the brakes and replace the push button on the door. I don't know if we're going to get all that today, but uh, stay tuned. Take the wheel off. Now, he already has new lug nuts because the last time we worked on it, I put new lug nuts on. Always, always, always change your lug nuts. Lug nut. <laughs> There's no lug nuts on. If you take your old ones off, I guarantee you they're going to be bad. And what happens is they start chewing up the hole. They start hogging the hole in the wheel out and they'll ruin the wheel. What, what does that mean? <laughs> I love working with professionals. <laughs> uh, whatever these are called, upper ball joints. Show the ball joint. Oh man. Okay, there's the upper ball joint. Now this has been changed. I think originally they might've been riveted on. I can't remember because I have Alzheimer's. And uh, um, Other people's kids, man. I'm here to tell you. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bust it loose at the at the the nut here at the spindle, and then we'll undo these nuts. It should pull right out. We bolt the other ones right in. This should go in really quick. So we're gonna start on that right now. Okay, pull Cut. the cotter key. Sometimes I call it the Mister Cotter key. But um, bum. Okay, now we're gonna bust it loose. Since we're replacing this anyway. Oh, it's loose, okay. All right, uh, the nuts and bolts are half inch. jack up the control arms. I'm gonna put a spacer under the front, upper control arm to hold it up, and I'll show you that in a second. But whenever you, I gotta jack it up on the hoist. Whenever you jack a car up on the hoist, like we're jacking it up from the front left, you've gotta support the back. You cannot jack it up without supporting it. In the, it'll come off the jack, and then you're in big trouble. So I'm supporting it with this stand in the back and I'm putting it under the frame. Right where the bumper attaches the frame here and, the, and where the bumper attaches. Okay, good. Now I'm not lifting the car with it. I'm just have it snug there. So we'll jack up the, the control arms. So this goes under the lower control arm. I might have to bust that. So I'm cradling the lower control arm with this. I'm not gonna break off the Zerk fitting. Okay, and I got the stand back there. So now I can start raising this. The car won't fall off the hoist. So hopefully, I'm gonna put a spacer in here and then I'll release this and the spacer will hold That's the control work, arm right? up. Okay, keep going. All right, let's hope that worked. If I could pop out and hit me right in the face, okay. Look at that. 
Okay, ball joint. Now you gotta use Loctite on these. So we'll get some Loctite. Rare parts, 10114 is the part number. Red. I'll do that one last. I'll do, the, I'll do these other ones right now. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Nice design, I love it. Talked about that before. Okay. Circuit fitting hole is over here. If you come behind me over here, Craig, see the Zerk fitting hole? Yep, yep, so. Okay. Okay, pneumatic grease gun. This thing's cool. Okay, and here goes nothing. Yeah. Whoa. It just wants to come out of that one spot. Okay, all right, that's enough Put for the now. Put on. Oh, it's on the arm. Okay, we'll grease it again. Now. All right. Okay, there we go. Put All the right, stand so back underneath. Raise this sucker up. Okay. Put the really? nut on. Okay, put the nut on. Oh, I'm gonna use a, uh, I'm gonna use a swivel socket okay. for this. You didn't see that. <laughs> Cordless pneumatic. Really? Okay, where is the hole? Now, the hole. Another issue. Look where the hole is relative to the castellated nut. Look where the hole is. Look at how far down the hole is. It should be up in that cubby. Need a washer. Yeah, we need a washer. See, now this is things that a lot of guys overlook. This does not, if you put a cotter key in there, it is not going to lock the nut. So you need to put a washer. Okay, we got a nut. See the washer? Got a washer for the nut, right? This may not fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit. I'm gonna. I need to put a flat on it because it doesn't fit onto the spindle. Flat. Okay, the flat's gonna go. Right there, look at that, fits perfectly. Put the nut on. My light died, so we had to get another light. See, the hole is in the cubby of the nut now. That's the way it's supposed to be. Not down here. Okay, you've been told. <laughs> okay, now one thing that I didn't mention, and I did make a mistake. I messed up. The hole, see, I didn't think about this because we're filming and I, I got, the, the hole is like this. Happen. It's pointed right to the spindle where it should be this way. The hole should be this way. I messed up. So now I got to fight with the cotter key because I got the, hole facing the spindle. That's stupid. That's wrong. We gotta take that, we gotta take that spacer out. 
Okay, got the stand in the back to support the car. Go ahead and jack it up. Here we go. Oh, here comes Fat Panda. Show sure him. Hi, kitty. He wants food. Hi, kitty. Come on. Hi, kitty. Come here. Put the sway bar okay. back on, put the bushing and the washer and the nut back on, lock nut. All right, we're going to deal with this because this is wrong. And this is very, very, very typical of replacement ball joints. I bet you a lot of you guys out there, this is the situation on your car. This is incorrect. This is not locking the nut. Okay, again. Good call. Okay. Oh, look at yeah, it's almost uh, almost there. Okay. So look out. Perfectly lined up. Look at that. Are you the director? And producer. Should I should I call you Stanley? Shut the fuck up. You're on camera. Go. <laughs> Uh, Stanley. <laughs> so look at the uh, look at the cotter keys. Look at where they look at this one. It's like a half an inch from the hole, from the castle nut. It's not, not quite half an inch, but 